Welcome to Make a Monday Cribs Edition, where we wanted to see what a smart home looks like in real life. So we've come to the house of a colleague of ours, Chris Meyer, who works with us at Pesla. He has done a lot of setup uh, and integrating of smart devices into his home. We wanted to see what it looks like, so let's go meet Chris. Uh, and as I approach the door, I can already see that there's some kind of keypad here with an RFID mechanism. I guess we'll find out a little bit more about that. We're in the doorbell. Chris! Hey, Sean! <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, come to my house here. Nice to see you. Yeah, well, good I'm, to be here. Yeah, I'm glad I did my hair today for you today. <laughs> Me too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. So, so come we get started. Yeah. Welcome in our living room. All right. So, so. Uh, before we start, Chris, yeah. uh, why don't you tell us what uh, what you do at Pesla and what your background is? Um, my background is IT administrator. I worked uh, for about 15 years in uh, IT as admin and I changed to Pesla a few months ago to, um, yeah, to a new position um, as a team lead from product innovation management. And yeah, so <laughs> that's why we know each other. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Chris and I have had a few discussions in the last few days and he was telling us about some of the projects and smart home stuff that he's got set up in his home. So I said to him, hey, why don't we uh, go and check out your house? And we pretty much invited ourselves over. So here we are. Yeah. Uh, Chris, the first thing that I noticed when I got to the front door was that you have a keypad there. Yeah, it's uh, for, for a simple reason that we don't need uh, uh, to carry around a key or something. And um, yeah, with this pad, you can uh, uh, entry with a normal code mm -hmm. or an RFID if uh, you have some. Right. And it's uh, also part of the home uh, alarm uh, system from, from, from here okay. uh, to protect the, the house, yeah. Right, right, so when I come in, the first, the first thing that I see in here, in your living room is I guess this is kind of your hub, an official hub if you want to call it for, yeah. for the user interface. <laughs> I see that you have Alexa. Oh, Alexa, stop. So we have she who shall not be named yeah. and uh, we connect there to an iPad that's on the wall uh, with some kind of dashboard that you've yeah, built. That's, that's, that's the main dashboard we got here in uh, downstairs. Mm. Uh, just to have a quick overview about every uh, window open close or um, uh, the heaters or the lights in the house. It's a bit 90s and old school style, but um, only just for have one thing in one view. Right. Uh, so I see that you've got a second dashboard set up over here. Yes, yes, for sure. Especially for you, Sean, for my special ah, guest today. I got Chris. this dashboard, <laughs> the same dashboard like we have on the wall. Mm -hmm. I put it here just to have it. In, uh, with us when we make a tour in, in, in the house and just okay. to, to show you cool. um, the screen resolution and the screen size from the originally designed from this iPad is a bit different to this tablet. So okay. uh, don't mind that's this white stripe. It doesn't, stripe on doesn't this, fit perfectly with that. No, no, but, but it's not that. So clear, before so. we go on a tour of your home, Chris, I want to uh, take me on a tour of your dashboard. What, sure. have we, what have we got here? Sure. We got here quite every, uh, yeah, I, I would say every section of it mm. uh, is an own room or a known area. Okay. Like we start with the garden. Yeah. We have uh, the degrees and the humidity, humidity. In, in, in the garden. Yes, we can um, shut off or shut on the, the power uh, in the front of the house for maybe the Christmas lights or something. Okay. 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 Then we have the garage here uh, with the state of the garage okay. door if it's closed or open. Okay, so you know if it's closed or open and you can yeah. also open and close it from here. Uh, in one of the box is a small homematic actor. Uh, this small homematic actor is connected to a relay in another right. box, right. Uh, which has two power circuits. When he gets uh, the power on the first circuit, he just uh, yeah switches on the another circuit. Okay. So only for two or three seconds simulates a button press right. from uh, a normal switch you can connect here, okay. just on off, and that's it. And, and yeah, and the cool thing is, then I once I have this homematic actor in my system, I can yeah quite from every every place I want to have it from the mobile phone, from the tablet, even via VPN, I can uh, I can open or close the garage. Okay. And in here in the back, you can see on the right up uh, from from the door, you can see the little sensor. Yeah. He detects if uh, the garage door is closed or open or okay. something. 
The next section is the living room section. We got in the living room, yeah, the lights mm -hmm. I can power on, power off. I can see which light is actually powered on at the moment. So which one do we have on? Yeah, well, can you, can you one is on. Yeah, sure. This is, uh, I have to feel, yeah, this is the big LED one. There we go. There we go. And you can, and turn, we can turn it off. Okay. Also doable via Alexa. So, no, I, I mentioned her, sorry. Okay, and of the windows here, down there, and the terrace uh, door. Okay. Also, we can see if it's shut or it Great. is uh, open. Yes, and yeah, the floor here, down there, the floor in the first, uh, f uh, in, 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 in the floor in the second. Right, and the hallways. The hallways, yeah. 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 And yeah, so on and on and on. The toilet, the, 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 the <laughs> yeah, the, if the window is open or closed, when you, you leave to, the house, you need to know yeah, which sure. window is open or closed. Yeah, yeah, you do. So, so you can see at a glance, yeah. just by looking at here, if yeah. you've left anything open. What is quite interesting is uh, the main door. Mm -hmm. I got here in this in this uh, overview. I got the uh, you, you can you can look at the state from the main door if okay. it's closed or open, right. and you can uh, turn on and turn off the, the the doorbell. Okay, it's a script behind it. Well, That's good for Halloween. Yeah. For, yeah, especially. I the want to eat my kids. sweets myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want kids knocking at the door in Halloween. No. <laughs> I mean, ring the bell. All by myself here. <laughs> so, and we uh, got a button with a state in it. Okay. This button is nothing more than uh, the uh, the door lock. Mm -hmm. It's a smart door lock, just a little motor on the door, okay. which can lock it or unlock it. Right. And uh, if I press this, the door getting locked, maybe you can, I can hear, hear it. Sound. Yeah. <laughs> it's only pretty much the same stuff for uh, other rooms here in the house. Okay. You have the lights, you have the, the windows and you have uh, the heaters. Okay. This is a this is an, an, an optoelectronic sensor. He um, recognizes when you open the window and when under the sensor uh, moves something or is something away or something there. If you open the window, a little LED blinks and it sends over 43 megahertz uh, to the Homematic IP central. The thermostat here on the heater recognizes it and shuts down the heater itself, so okay. you don't burn energy at the moment. When you want to have fresh air, open it and yeah it uh, shuts oh, down. Nice. Also, the thermostat on the wall mounted uh, is also connected with both devices, so okay. he so can... Okay, so they both know what's going on. Yeah, it also can... Um, it's a sensor in it for, for the air. So For uh, humidity? The humidity, yeah, okay. humidity. And um, there is a, a, an own build script uh, behind it. Oh, okay. When the humidity goes under 40%, mm -hmm. uh, it sends... Um, uh, yeah, it, it, it sets a kind of flag, and this flag... Um, a, enables uh, the um, humidifier here. Okay, so it, you regulate the humidity in the, yes, in the room regulate, automatically. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, also, the next things we have here in the dashboard is a bit of a system, it's, it's a kind of a system overview from my little infrastructure here in the house. Okay, so it looks like we've walked into the server room of some kind of small business or something because uh, this is a normal residential house and we've got uh, what looks like a like a professional setup here. What have you, what are you, what, what's going on, Chris? I, I yeah, because of my background in administrator guy, I like to to work uh, on such stuff and uh, yes, I had the, in, in the past I had the option to get quite things quite cheap. Okay. And um, yeah, I like to to, to, to to do things on my own and, and build it myself, right. and security and everything. So what we got here is a, a, a normal standard server rack, half height, okay. the Raspberry Pi, which okay. is the, yeah, the heart and the brain from the whole smart home organization here to Synology um, NAS stations. Okay. Um, th this this uh, this white uh, tiny box here is the firewall. It's the Sophos firewall okay. with the UTM software on it. Right. And uh, on the left, um, bottom side we got a small UPS um, a universal power supply <laughs> which uh, yeah when something happens the power gets lost uh, it's able to for 30 to 45 minutes to um, yeah feed the whole rack with power okay I could quickly demonstrate that this is the main power line yeah, yeah, yeah. powering up those bars okay I just take it out take it out and everything's and, still yeah. going and okay it beeps because yeah, it sure. says oh you have to be careful put the power back on something mm -hmm. is wrong okay so right. just work it in and no internet uh, connection is corrupted or something everything is Amazing. running fine 
But the real magic and what's real cool is this down here from the solar system on the on the roof of my house. Oh, the solar the solar panels, right? Solar panel, yeah. Right. This solar system is um, only for self-consumption and loading a big uh, battery from Tesla, mm. which is in my basement. Okay. So you can see how much energy is get, are we get from. Yeah. The so grid. you can see exactly where, like how much you're saving, how much you're you've got uh, to use, and how much yeah. um, how much you're actually putting yeah. from the grid. That's very very yeah. cool. One thing that I'm wondering is uh, about system, st system stability. You've got a lot of stuff running over wireless network. Yeah. Uh, doesn't that overrun the wireless network at all? Yes, I had these problems uh, f um, uh, until a few months before. That um, yeah, After a few days, the whole Wi-Fi system was crashed. Mm. Nothing worked anymore. I was not able to pick one packet over it. And uh, yeah, because we got too much traffic over the Wi-Fi. We yeah, got, uh, I can imagine. Yes, for, uh, Zigbee protocols, etc. PP. So it, it, it really burst down the Wi-Fi connection okay. totally. And then I decided to get some mesh Wi-Fi system okay. with uh, three points. And uh, yeah, with much more, uh, much more throughput, okay. and it's uh, yeah more reliable. More reliable, and reliability are, is, is very important in yeah. this house because, yeah, when you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, you can't. In worst case, you can't lock or unlock the door yeah. Yeah. with uh, your system. So <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty much stuck. Yeah. Chris, thank you so much for letting us into your home. It has been very, very interesting to take a walk around and have a look at what you've built here. Thank you for coming, you guys. Yeah, and if, uh, hopefully it gives you some inspiration and ideas for what you can do at home as well. And if you want to know more about any of Chris's projects and the things that he's put together, uh, let us know and we maybe uh, do it in a Make a Monday episode in the future. Sure. Chris can show us the background of uh, how he did it. Um, yeah, uh, subscribe to our channel, click the little bell so you get the notifications, and we'll see you next time.